lions and tigers to bears. Oh my! Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! Hey everybody! So today I have a Dorothy tutorial for you. I just finished filming this look. I did makeup first and then I did hair. So if you're interested on how I got this Dorothy more of a sweet innocent look then keep on watching. So I literally just spent like half an hour playing with my lighting trying to make it so I'm not orange. My foundation always looks orange. Anyway, my face really isn't orange. You can tell when I take pictures afterwards of my tutorials that my face doesn't look orange, but I kind of crappy lighting, I guess. Okay, to start off the look for Dorothy, I just um, applied my foundation and my concealer powder. Um, I did do a little bit of blush. Um, I'm just going for more of a sweet innocence look rather than like a pinup look. I know a lot of Dorothy tutorials are more of a pinup, so I thought I would take a little bit different view on Dorothy and do more of a sweet innocent kind of look. Anyway, so since I already have my foundation and everything else on, I will go ahead and get started with uh, my eyes. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids. So I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm going to be putting a little bit of shadow underneath, so I'll just put a little under here as well. Okay. So, when I thought about Dorothy's eyes, I want to go innocent, so I'm thinking, okay, I want to stick with more neutral colors. Um, but I was thinking of The Wizard of Oz and The Yellow Brick Road, and I thought gold. I totally want to do a gold eye for Dorothy. So I'm going to be using different shades of gold. I'm going to show you the colors I'm going to be using, and you can use whatever you have that will be a great substitute for it. So the first color I'm going to be using is this gold half-baked, and then I'm also going to be using this smog right next to it. So a light gold and then a, a medium brown with a lot of gold accent, and then the next color I'm going to be using will be a darker gold, so right there, so more of a gold gold, and then I'm going to just give it a little pop using some MAC pigment, pigment. and this is pink bronze, you can see it's just a really orangey gold color. And then for my highlight, I'm just going to be using a bright white or light shade. So I guess it's not really white, but it's light. Just the virgin right here in my Naked palette. So those are the colors I'm going to be using, so I'll just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be using a little bit smaller brush like this and get the half baked. And go ahead and just put it right on the lower half of my lid. I really want to pack that on there and give it a really gold look. I have really, really small eyelids down here, so I don't end up with a lot of gold, but if you have larger oil eyelids, just go all the way up to your crease. So as much eyelid as you have. I really want that gold to just pop. Okay. So next, I'm going to take a little bit bigger brush, like this. I'm going to get that darker, more orangey gold color 
really get that in on my brush and come in right above tap that in all the way up to the brow bone color up there. I don't want white brows. And then I'm just going to use the back of this brush and blend that line out. Okay, just like that. Next I'm going to be using the pigment. So to keep the pigments from going all over, I'm just going to be using some cotton rounds like this. And these are really cheap. You can just buy them from any drugstore, grocery store. And I'm just going to wet them down a teeny bit and put them under my eye. Now oh, this looks so cute, huh? And since my concealer is waterproof, it doesn't really affect it at all. It just makes it stick a little bit. But if you're worried, you could just reapply afterwards and put a little powder on. I want those to stick on really good. Okay, next, I'm going to get my pigment and get a little bit larger brush like this. And I'm going to go in right through the crease and really intensify that bronze color. Once you're all done, you can just take off your little iPad. Okay. So now you can see you just have a lot of that gold color in there. And it really just makes it pop. Okay, so. Oops, dropped my lid. Okay, so now we're going to be taking the smog color, which is just the darker one. And I'm going to take my little brush, my little blender, and I'm actually going to, let me show you. I'm just going to swirl it in, tap off. I'm going to focus this on the outside corner and just kind of do a little circular motion and then move over. You just want to give a little teeny bit of depth without totally giving it drama. So just like that. Then we're going to do our liner and I'm going to be using where did my liner go. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay's 24-7 liner in whiskey. I'm just barely holding my eyelid top, but I don't want to really pull on it. Okay. I'm 
I'm just going to take it through my waterline. So, yeah, for this inning, just brown eyeliner will do. Okay, so next we're going to take a small brush like this. And we're going to go back into our Naked palette and go into the Half Baked again, which is my first gold color that's on the lower lid. Just drag that underneath the lash line. Oh, I got a fuzzy there. There, that's better. and go through the corners and just really give it that pop of gold. Okay. So, um, now you could curl your eyelashes. I forgot my eyelash curler, so I'm going to skip that step. But I don't want like an overly voluminous um, lash look. So I'm going to be using the Sephora's Mascara. Okay, and just barely lightly on the bottom lashes. Okay, so I have my eyes done just like that. So again, I said I'd already um, applied some blush. Let me just show you what I used. I used this Opulent Pearlizer Sheer Pigment from MAC. And it's super, super sparkly. But it's kind of a ruby red color. I love this. And you have to be careful because a little will go a long way. But I just... Apply the little ruby color just because I felt like that's what Dorothy would wear. Okay, and then for the lip, I am going to do a red lip, of course. Um, so first I'm going to start by lining and filling in my lips with red lip liner. This is just one from Mirabella. It's called Smitten. The thing I like about this is you can take any kind of red lipstick and really make it look red with having that red base on it. The lipstick I'm going to put over it is actually from Prescriptive. It's actually not a super red lipstick. It's kind of an orangey red, I guess. But anyhow, over this red liner, it gives it a really nice red lip. Alright, so that is my completed makeup look for Dorothy. Just a nice, sweet, innocent look with a golden eye, ruby cheeks, and ruby lips. Alright, so let's get started on the hair.